Hello YouTube, it's Big Mike and it's great to see you guys. Hope you guys are ready to laugh because I know I am. I have found this video from doing a lot of digging of Rodney Roode. Apparently this is one of his funniest clips ever. However, I do have some trepidation because I have not seen this video and I had to dig really, really deep to find this because when I went to search for more Rodney Roode videos, because I know that I love doing the one, this is my second time ever seeing him, I did that one with him at McDonald's, and this one that I found, a lot of reactors are reacting to it, it's apparently called Half Roode Sydney 1993. I don't know if this is the same one because the link was dead to the clip that the you know the streamers provided I'm gonna give you guys two images right here and now here is this one and here is this one now both of these reactors they've said from what the description is that it's Rodney Roode's funniest clip ever and through an extensive Google search and trying to click on those links like I said from before those links were dead because they claim the video was removed for sex and stuff I don't know why so right now the one that I did find I don't know the condition of it. I don't know if it's the exact same one because, like I said, the original ones that they reacted to are gone. I'm going to watch this one, and I'm going to need you guys to tell me in the comments when I'm done reacting to this if this is indeed the same clip because I didn't look at theirs. All I did is I looked at those thumbnails, the same two images you guys just saw. So now that we got all that out of the way, let's now enjoy, at least for my sake, Rodney Roode's funniest clip ever. Let's see how this turns out. What the hell? I was down the gym there the other day, doing a few push-ups. Oh yeah, I can do aerobics too. Don't fucking worry about it. I'll do push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> Sit ups, no problems. How's he doing this? <laughs> I was down the gymnasium there the other day, doing a few aerobics. But here's this bloke I never seen before. In me fucking ear. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> fucking yeah. I said, mate, why don't you fucking shut up? He's still in me ear. Yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. I said, mate. I fucking told you once now outside. Goes outside, and you know what it's like every so often in your life, you just fucking snap. I hit this prick so fucking hard, his crutches went everywhere. I rip his hearing aid out of his fucking head. The shit squirted up his neck from his colossum, he sat. And I kicked oh, his seal like dog in the guts. <laughs> Next day I went out in a hospital oh and ripped his God. life support out of work. <laughs> then I <laughs> fucked his nurse. <laughs> I don't take any shit from... Here you go, baby. I don't take any shit from those bricks. <laughs> uh, Who should walk into the gym? El McPherson. I used to work for El. I used to be the head security guard at the underwear show. She had to let me go. I found some undies in my lunchbox. She said, half, I'm going to have to give her the ass. I said, that's OK, El, I'll have that ass. That'd be good. You can give me the ass if you want to. <laughs> give it to me now. There's El. She said, you've got to be careful doing aerobics. She said, you could pull a muscle. I said, well, give mine a bit of a pull. <laughs> in comes the doctor. He says, half, he says. 
Gonna put your back out with your big heavy old dwarf's cock. <laughs> he said, I'll have to circumcise you. I said, well, no skin off my nose, dog. <laughs> and that's an old jab and my timing's <laughs> fucking perfect. <laughs> and there's Elle, she's given a lecture to the fighters on nutrition. She said, you gotta be careful what you put into your body. <laughs> I said, well, put me in there. <laughs> you put me. I'd like to get... You put me in, that'd be good. <laughs> I was over in America. Walks into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hard. Drinks about 14 Budweiser. <laughs> Three peanuts. Couple of blokes give me a bit of shit. Oh. I don't know how he's doing this. <laughs> These three American ladies. One of them says, oh, she says, best lovers in the world are American Indians. I said, is that mm. fucking mm. so? Mm. <laughs> The other one said, nah, best lovers in the world, Scotsman. I said, Scotsman, I said, is that fucking right? The other one said, nah, best lovers in the world, Chinaman. I said, Chinaman, I said, Chinaman, I said, is that so? She said, yeah, American Indian, Scotsman and Chinaman. She said, what's your name? I said, Tonto McTavish fucking Tom. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. So that stand up bit was great. And I want to let you guys know something right here, right now. The rest of this video, I did react to it. But I'm going to let you know, and this is the very first time I can recall ever having to do anything like this. I had to cut things out of my reaction. You might have noticed it ended rather abruptly just now with that quick cut. I'm going to tell you guys what was removed because I can see why this clip is is gone and I I I can't I just can't show it. It's uh all it is is he was a news reporter, someone named Alan Alcock who was taking a big giant piss with a big fake penis. And then we get to see him again inside of a truck with that same costume on with the big gray ass and the giant shoes with a gigantic kind of beanbag shaped penis playing with it. And then we got to see two dogs messing around with each other. And then we got to see a video of him, uh, looking like uh, John Lennon or something like that. It was very jumbled. It wasn't even 10 seconds. It, it, it didn't register, again, because of where I got this clip from. But it was that, and then the final thing it showed was like a sketch of some crazy cab driver with rear projection and someone flying over. It wasn't much. I honestly didn't even really laugh at it. But um, the meat and potatoes is, of course, the stand-up. And I know, I'm sorry that I had to cut all that other stuff out. I, I Like I said, the other stuff was very minimal. It was more of a preview for his other videotapes. But the more longer segment was, of course, like I said, the even though it's fake, the penis pissing segment. So that had to go. I'm sorry, you guys. I could censor it, but it would be kind of pointless because I could potentially still get in trouble. I'm sorry, I'm not risking my channel. I've worked too hard to put out content. But, yeah, I had, to, I had to remove that. But let me know, by the way, in the comments, if this is the same clip that those other two reactors reacted to. Let me know if there's a link out there that has the half rude Sydney 1993, the entire video. Let me know if it was any different. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed what we did get to see. 
And it's been great watching Rodney Roode so far. This man is right up there with Kevin Bloody Wilson and Jenny Talia. I love him very much. And yes, of course, don't you worry. I know you guys are asking for more Tim Minchin. You'll get it. Don't you worry. I'm only one person. <laughs> well, anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching me react today to Rodney Roode's funniest clip ever. I'm hoping it's the right one. You guys take care. Be well. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, of course. And I'll see you a little later. Bye now.